Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be learning the golden egg method. This is how you set up the golden egg method. Now, when I was a little girl, we didn't have golden eggs. We would simply just put down the zero. And we used the zero there on that second line because we knew that that was when we were timesing by 10. Start off with a simple problem. 32 times 14. Have a look where I put the golden egg. We are first going to times the units column. 4 times 2. And then 4 times 3. Right, let's write it on the side. 4 times 2 equals 8. And 4 times 3? 12. You need to put the 8 under or on top of the egg. And you put the 2 under the 1. And the 1, you put it in the hundreds column. We are finished with the units column. Now we're going to times the tens column. And this is where the golden egg comes in. When we times by ten, the answer always ends with a zero. Right. Now let's do one times two and one times three. It's very important that you do the inside arrow first, one times two, and then one times three. Now let's write it down so we won't forget it. 1 times 2 equals? 2. Good. And 1 times 3? Equals 3. The 1 times 2 answer is going to go over here. And that is 2. And the 1 times 3 answer is going to go here. And that is 3. Okay, good. The final challenge. We are going to plus these two answers. 8 plus naught is 8. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 1 plus 3 equals 4. So 32 times 14 equals 448. This is how you multiply using the golden egg method. We've given you a problem, 22 times 43. See if you can use this method to get the answer. Remember to put down your golden egg. And then, when you once you've got the answer, please write it down in the comments below.